Hi folks! Rasmus Hoyland has officially joined Manchester United. We strongly believe that the Denmark's national team striker will be a perfect fit for Eric and Huck's side and the exact detail they were missing in the attacking line. Now we are about to tell you who he is and why the Red Devils will lay off more than 80 plus million euros for his services. Are you ready? We are getting started! Rasmus Hoylund deal, it's a here we go for Manchester United. The path Rasmus Hoyland has already covered at the age of 20 is really impressive. He showed great talent even at the youth level, sliding 15 goals in 22 appearances for the U19 team of his boyhood club Copenhagen. In the 2021-22 campaign, the lad got his first chance at the starting 11 of the Danish powerhouse, but nothing came out of it. Hoyland appeared mostly as a substitute playing 295 minutes in 15 league appearances but without scoring a single goal. Still, Rasmus managed to score two goals in the conference league against Slavon Bratislava and Lincoln Red Imps from Gibraltar. He scored three goals in six games in the tournament's qualification stage. In the winter of 2021, Copenhagen decided to cash out on Hoyland, accepting an offer of 1.95 million euros from the humble Austrian side Sturmgrass. Unexpectedly, Hoyland got used to the new league very quickly, netting a brace in his debut against WSG Tyrell and then two more goals in the next two matches. As a result, the Dane scored six goals in 15 appearances. Something truly amazing happened in Hoyland's career at the start of last season. He scored three goals in five Austrian Bundesliga fixtures, scored once in the Champions League qualification and then received an offer from Atalanta. The Blackies managed to sell a then 19-year-old attacker for as much as 17 million euros. And so, after a year-long spell in Serie A, the guy who didn't live up to the expectations of his club from boyhood and left for less than 2 million is now on his way to conquer Old Trafford. Oh my god! By the way, Hoyland has already become an extremely valuable player for the Denmark squad. He made his debut for the Red and Whites in September of last year and has already played six matches and scored six goals. And there will surely be more to come. The amount of money the Red Devils have given for Hoyland will be written down in history books. We are talking about 75 million euros and another 10 million in add-ons. The 20-year-old Dane is now the most expensive sale in the history of Atalanta. The previous record belongs to Christian Romero, who moved to Tottenham Hotspur last summer for 50 million. Besides, Atalanta were the ones who sold Dian Kuliszewski to Juventus for 35 million and Frank Cassier to AC Milan for 32 million. What's more, right at this moment, Hoyland is, by a huge margin, the most expensive Denmark footballer in history. The difference between him and the second place is 48 million euros. Are you kidding me? And don't forget the part with bonuses. Until recently, Christian Eriksen stood up as the most expensive Dane, whom Inch Milan bought from Spurs for 27 million euros. Hoyland will be the sixth most expensive player in the history of Manchester United. The club paid the same amount of money for Angel Di Maria and a bit more only for Romelu Lukaku, 84.7 million euros. Jadon Sancho cost 85 million, Harry Maguire cost 87 million, Anthony cost 95 million and Paul Pogba, 105 million. Even Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes cost Manchester United less money. As you can see, most of United's expensive signings turned out to be chance for flops. However, this time we are sure that everything will be different with Hoyland and here's why. Modern football has taught us that a century forward cannot be judged solely by the number of goals or assists. In fact, Hoyland cannot really boast of many productive actions. As part of Atalanta, the lad provided only 10 goals and 4 assists in 34 games in all competitions. Despite that, Hoyland had only 1,834 minutes in Serie A, that is, 20 starting appearances. 
At the beginning of the season, he was not the goddess's regular striker. For example, Victor Osman played much more minutes, 2566. Mind the other impressive aspect. Out of 54 shots landed by Rasmus in the last Serie A run, 28 were in target. 51.9% of accuracy is the second indicator among central attackers. Only Marko Arnautovic was doing better with 53.6%. 1.37 shots in target per 90 is an elite class statistic. Only Osman with 1.82 and Lautaro with 1.78 are ahead of Hoyland. 0.18 xG per shot is the best result among the Italian league strikers. As a matter of fact, many fans and pundits compare Hoyland with another Scandinavian forward whose last name sounds pretty similar, Erling Haaland. They pretty much share the same build. Erling is only 4 cm taller, both have blonde hair and both played in Austria. Atalanta head coach Gian Piero Gasparini also had a say about this comparison. Hoyland has the spirit, energy, intensity, but also the technical quality that is just remarkable. He still has so much room for improvement too. He has very similar characteristics to Holland. He's so quick. He's under 11 seconds over 100 meters, and that's not even trying very hard. Considering his height, he has a low center of gravity. I'm convinced he'll have a great career. He just gets stronger every day. Quillant went very far from the usual tall center striker image. Like Holland, the Dane operates all over the attacking front looking for opportunities through his speed and dribbling skills. Just look at how well he is able to pass a defender on the wing in order to enter the box. Sometimes, Hoyland's fins leave his opponents dumbfounded. It could be very difficult to guess where he will move next as he acts very quickly and unpredictably. Take this case for example. Unlike most giant forwards, Hoyland is not completely dependent on midfielder's support. He is quite capable of creating moments for himself and converting them into goals. The one against Red Bull Salzburg during his time with Sturm is literally the standard of how a modern center forward should deliver. Hoyland is left-footed, which is a slight advantage for any attacker. Still, the lad doesn't mind using his right foot. In the last Serie A campaign, he took 25% of his shots with his right, so it's safe to say that Rasmus won't waste a lot of time moving the ball to a more comfortable foot. A special feature of the 20-year-old Dane probably lies in his shooting power. He is excellent at shots taken outside the box, and if he hits on target, it is extremely difficult for the goalkeeper to clear the ball because of the power of the Dane shots. Hoyland's main problem is the lack of technique in this regard. He mostly relies on his strength and accuracy. Nevertheless, the guy has a well-mastered scoring instinct to finish passes or crosses of his partners. With that said, you need to understand that Manchester United is not paying for today's Hoyland, but rather for the performer he will become in the future. And in the future, he is quite capable of becoming one of the world's best forwards. You know, Manchester United took Wild Weckhorst and Lowell this season not because of the Dutch sensational skills. Eric Den Haag's game model is built around a strong center forward. Just think of Sebastian Allure, Lassina Traore, and Brian Brabe, the manager head of the Yux. Unfortunately, there was no money for a strong forward in winter, therefore, United had to count on Weckhorst. Hoyland, like Onana, will be the exact player meant to completely change Man United's model this season. From now on, Ten Hag has a footballer capable of not only finishing attacks, but also to pull the attention of several opponents at once, giving Bruno Fernandes, Sancho, Anthony, Rashford and Mount more freedom and space. Besides, Onana is very good at sending long passes behind the opponent's defenders. Earlier on, the Red Devils didn't have a forward who was able to both avoid offside rules and take advantage of the Cameroonians' goalkeeper's press. From now on, they do. For instance, there was a similar episode in a friendly against Dortmund, but Bruno Fernandes eventually went offside. During counter-attacks, 
Hoyland's 100 meters in 11 seconds speed can play a key role. Of course, Weckhorst or a bunch of other attackers couldn't deliver the same pace. Even Anthony Martial, who was considered a good sprinter, is not able to run that fast. Well, it's also worth noting that expecting to stick with Rashford, Sancho or Bruno as Sancho forwards throughout the whole season is like shooting yourself in the foot even before the competition's kickoff. Therefore, Hoyland's arrival was very important. Like Holland, Hoyland comes from a football family. Rasmus's father is a former striker of many rather mid-Danish clubs, such as HB Kyoge, Viborg FF, and Fremat Amager. But the most fascinating part is that Hoyland has twin brothers. Both are footballers, and following the example of their older brother, both are studying in the Copenhagen Academy. They have recently turned 18. Oscar Hoyland is a central midfielder who has made 23 appearances, scored one goal, and provided one assist for the Denmark youth national team. Emil Hoyland is a striker who can also play as a playmaker. He has 11 appearances and two goals for the Denmark U17 side, as well as one goal in two games for the U19 squad. Interestingly enough, last month Oscar and Emil Hoyland made their debut together for Copenhagen's first team. In a game against Randers, the head coach released the twins for only one minute. The moment is still historic, nevertheless. So here we might be even talking about a whole promising football dynasty, which will be incredibly entertaining to follow further on. As for these moments, we can only congratulate Manchester United on an incredible transfer that could totally change the entire season for the Red Devils. And what do you think? Will Hoyland be able to justify the huge money paid for him? Does the fate of many other expensive Manchester United newcomers await him? Write your opinion in the comments below, give us a like and subscribe. The Football Club was with you, a channel of high-quality football journalism. Check out a video in which we are covering another Manchester United star, Kabi Miano, who suffered an unfortunate injury but still promises to become a future football beast. Have a good time watching! That's all for today. Bye-bye!